Hey, hey guys, welcome back. Good morning. It is early. It's four o'clock in the morning and we are going to do some cooking today. I can't tell you how strong I am being <laughs> to not go do the, tele uh, the teleporter today. Um, I really want to do that, but I really want to um, get some food going. So I've done a little bit uh, reorganizing here. I moved a basket. I moved the chair. I'm probably going to put this outside down by the redwood, the, the, the game table. Um, and I redid the, I went through the leather and reset that everything up. I gathered the coal and put it in there. Speaking of, I need a piece of it because I want to write some signs down below. We're going to do some pretty heavy smithing here pretty soon, too, with all that silver. Um, so we're going to make honey and some food with that meat. So let's go down and see what we have. Let's go down and grab some things. Let's close that door just so anybody, little creepers, can't get in. And let's put Bright Molly down so we can really light this place up. Um, I also put some barrels down here because we are going to pickle some stuff. Um, oh, you know what? I need water down here to do that. So let's do that. Let's take out this block and we'll put water in there. Um, because it really helps to have water close. So there's my bucket. And let's grab some salt. I don't remember how much it is, but we'll figure it out. This is the first step in cheese making. So, um, okay, so there's some water. Uh, I don't know why I set the bucket down because let's go ahead and fill this one up. We're gonna make some pickled onions. Isn't that nice? I can't wait. Okay, so what you do is you take, I don't remember how many it is. So we're just gonna go slow and it will um, tell me when we're there. Okay, so that was a stack, so it, I guess it took, that was a stack of 64. So now we can take some onions. I also brought signs because I want to uh, put signs on these. Let's see how many onions fit in there. I haven't done this very much. Um, I guess you could probably put, can you put, no. You can probably put up to 50 in there. 48, 49, 50. Yeah, 51 um, ruins it, so 50. And then we're gonna seal it. So after 14 days, we will have pickled onions, which is gonna be super nice. So we're gonna take some signs and put some signs on this stuff. I actually want it on the container, so we're going to take that one off. And you can put signs on these containers. This one is... We're going to be moving this around. Um, I'm going to call this one veggies. Like that. Um, this one... I will keep the spelt in here. So all I'm doing is um, holding the charcoal, crouching and right clicking on the sign. And then this one is going to be the rye. Um, so let's open both of these up and move all the rye. We're going to cook this meat, so let's put that in here. We're going to put all the rye here. We're going to grab these cooking vessels, so I want to put them upstairs. Um, that's rye flour, so we'll keep the rye flour in with the rye flour. Flax. So flax is the least um, satiation you can get um, out of the grains, I believe. So... Um, I think we're going to be feeding that to the, I'm just going to leave this one as miscellaneous right here. So we're going to leave that as to the, to the sheep, the animals, and I'll leave some salt down here too. So we have 48. So we're going to do this. We're going to eight because eight, eight is going to go in one pot. 
Um, so I'm just going to divide it out because I haven't had a full cup of coffee yet to see how many pots we can make. Look at that. Three, six. Okay. So that's good. So let's use... Um, we're going to use these four and we're going to use some turnips. How much do the, those last for a long time? So let's use some turnips. Um, where's my other turnips? Okay, we can stack those. So let's use onions, cabbage, and turnips to cook some things. I don't think we need anything else from down here. Let's go ahead and leave these two pieces of charcoal down here um, just to write on other signs if we need to. That way we can pick this up. And let's leave the other sign. This will be our miscellaneous thing that we might need down here. Okay, cellar feels a lot more set up now. Um, oh, you know what I should have got is the honey. Because we're going to also make some jam. So the honey is over here. We're going to grab all the honey we have. And you just right click on the buck on the thing. It's light. It's morning. We missed the sunrise. Okay, so let's do the meat first. I need to take... Oh gosh, I hope we have enough containers. How many did I say? One, two, three, four, five, six. There's four, five, six. Oh goodness, we're not going to have enough containers. Okay, well we're going to cook the meat because that's super important. We're going to take this out of this one. Um, set that down there. That only has two servings left. So I'll be able to eat that today and use that container. So we're going to do that there, and I have more cooking pots right here. So we're going to put one right there, and we're going to store this stuff for winter. Um, the most you can put in is four. So what we're going to do is we're going to make these so they're very rounded meals. So we're going to be cooking some, we're going to be putting in fruit and um, vegetables. Were those all? No. Okay. So I'm just going to grab fruit because I want to have four onions in there and then I want to have four fruit. That'll make the most, uh, the most satiation. It'll be the best satiation for the meal. And we're going to do the same thing over here. And I'm only doing four in each one because um, that's the most a crock can hold. So we're going to do four here. And let's do these four cabbage in this one. Um, do I have firewood over here? I have peat. We'll use peat. I'm going to have to go gather some more. And I am disappointed that I, did, that I didn't think about the fact that I don't have enough crocs. So we're going to be making some crocs. So we're going to let this start going. Because I'm not going to be able to make jam today. So we'll get these going. And we're going to run over and get some clay so I can make some more. Yeah, Wolf, you need to die. Okay, so let's do this while we're here. Let's start with this one, just because I only have one to get it out. And we're going to make these. Yeah, that sucks that I forgot that we don't have enough. But that's okay, because what we'll have... Um, I can go ahead and pick a bunch of berries. I'm worried that the berries despawn af after a while if you don't pick them. I don't really know. Um, but I'm going to pick a bunch of berries. These will be ready in a day or two and then the berries can stay in the cellar in the meantime and we can make a bunch of jam. And in the meantime it actually works out because I'll be able to get more honey. So jam will be in another session. We're going to just deal with this meat that we got. It's preservation day guys. We're going to preserve all our good food so we have something for the winter. 
and um, can survive. <laughs> I don't know how cold it's going to be. I think we're pretty far north. So, but maybe that teal, I'm just begging the vintage story gods that that teal will take us south. Please, south. still hear those bubbling in the back. As long as they're bubbling, we'll be doing this. Okay, so there's four. Let's just, um, let's just go set them down as I make them in here. Let's see if these are done yet. What's going on? I didn't light that one? Oi, hippie. Thought I lit it. Well, that's all right. Okay, so let's put this one in there and we'll get it going. We're gonna just line them up over here that we're gonna seal. And now we're gonna get this one going with more. Um, I wish I would just put down half. Okay, so let's put, oh, I have to go get more berries. Let's do some blueberries in here. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. It's okay. We're gonna be picking all these berries anyway, and we're gonna put them in the cellar for jam later if we don't. Oh, I didn't wanna do that. Let's do uh, one, two, three, four. We'll slow it down. And one, two, three, four. These are going to be such good meals. Oh my gosh. Okay. We need more peat. I burned up all the peat in that one. Really looking forward to another backpack. out of here. Put it in the other one. Okay. More crocs. I guess at the beginning I should just do a sh metric shit ton of these because you know you're going to need it, but it's just so boring. It's like making the shingles. It's really boring. So I think it's better to do a little at a time, at least for me. I, uh, I do get very bored with something if I'm doing it for a long time. Okay, let's repeat this. I have a, a crisis at my home. I ran out of creamer, so I'm drinking my coffee black this morning. It stinks. Gotta go to the store today. No, I really used to drink my coffee black a long time ago, but I really like that nice fat. I put some MCT oil in it instead, and that's pretty good. Okay, so there's four more. Let's go let's pop these down. I might make one more batch. Okay. See how the meat is doing. Uh, get in the door, hip. Okay, let's see how this one is. That one's ready. And that one's ready. Oh my gosh, look at all this food. Nice. Okay, so let's do a few more. Oops, we gotta put this in here. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I guess I should be using the turnips, but we still have time to use the turnips. One, two, three, four. That do that one. And then we'll get this one going. Okay, 
Got two more. Look at all this food. This is going to be nice. We need this. This is going to make me feel a lot better about winter. Um, I'm going to feel a lot more prepared. I don't have any idea. Let's be a little more organized about this. See if it takes less time. Um, I have no idea how cold it's going to get. Um, I'm going to have to figure out a place that I can warm up in and make sure that something is sealed. I'm probably going to have to put windows in here or blocks in here. Um, my little windmill's moving. I need. I can get more power to that if I um, put more sails on it. I probably won't ever make that one very big because it doesn't have a lot of room to be big. If your sails hit something, then they will fall off and despawn if you don't notice it right away. And flax is too precious to let that happen for sure. Just gotta check something. Okay. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our beeswax because I wanna save the fat for the automation. But beeswax is very good for candles. We have a few candles right now. Um, and we're going to be making more lanterns here in an episode or two. And making some black bronze, I think, depending on how much gold we have. I might pan the rest of my bony soil before that so I can get a few more pieces. I think that's all the crocs I'm going to make. Um, I don't remember where I put my grass. It might be in there. We well, don't have enough in there. I might have put it in there. No. down and see if I put it in here. I might have for the animals. Yeah, let's just take this and use it. Oh, sound of bees. And we need to plant the greenhouse. Let's see what temperature it is. It's 10 degrees. It's getting chilly. Um, we should probably plant something in there. Um, let's take a few of these. Grab some grass. Oh, that was just about perfect. Okay, now I just need to get some more peat, but I want to check on these meals. So let's grab another one and put that one in there. Oops, eight. No, oh, that one in there. And another one. Oh my gosh, yes. And then do we have one more that we can cook? We do, one more. So let's put this in here. Okay, so that's the last one. Let's grab the peat out of here and put it in there for this one. And then, so it doesn't burn up. And I really need to make this a circle so I can While we're back here, do I have room? No. I have to go get more peat. Okay. Let's go ahead and just set this peat down here for now. Because I think I have enough. Let's go ahead and pick some berries. We can still hear that gurgling in there. I think I want to pick most of the berries. I picked all those. Oh, I don't want to eat them. Oh, those aren't even ready. Okay. Because we're going to make jam. I think we're going to have enough to make a decent set of jam once. Okay, we picked those. Pick these. Maybe these will um, give us one more crop before winter. I don't know. Probably not, given that it's September, but we'll see. So 
that's a pretty good um let's go put the berries downstairs i don't have a berry box do i let's put the berries in the random one so we're gonna go ahead and mix those we're gonna go ahead and mix those because we're gonna be making these soon and okay well that's a pretty good stash of berries we can make some decent jam with that we'll probably just eat those since there's only two of them let's put the veggies back 92 days let's put the onions back okay I need to find more black currants I guess it would be nice to bring home more berries when we're doing this next time when we're traveling next time okay so let's grab this is our last crock right yeah oh my gosh okay so we're gonna seal all of these I think so this is the way we seal them with all of our wonderful beeswax which is right there we have 18 of them so that is not a problem so we're gonna just open this up and we're gonna keep that there there's one there's two there's three. Oh yes there's four there's five uh five and six so let's make sure i'm just going to go over them and make sure they all say sealed and that i didn't miss any these are all meat vegetables and fruit i don't remember what we have down here but let's look uh meat parsnip and cranberries so that's good okay so let's um put these up there um, I'm gonna go ahead and just put these at the top two point one years that's pretty darn good this is really gonna help us I'm really hoping that the okay that's it man we have a lot of room in here still let's put the honey away Oh, I don't have the honey on me. Okay, I'm going to clean up a tiny bit. And then we're going to... Um, I'll just leave the honey. We're going to not... Yeah, I'll put the honey back in the bucket. The honey bucket. Um, but I want to do a couple things before it gets dark. We need to eat. So that's number one. Let's put the honey away the honeycomb we can take oh I have way too many cooking pots which is ridiculous uh, I made f I made the the four unit at first and I didn't need to do that we'll take this back downstairs um, this is from me expanding the cellar a little bit and putting those buckets there uh, but let's eat so I want to go down and look at the greenhouse. I want to show, I want to look at the, and I want to see if the bees are ready. So the greenhouse says plus five degrees from the greenhouse. The moisture here is 75, 50, and 75. Okay, so the corners are down to 25. So I'm wondering if I should hide more water. I might think about that. Um, but let's plant something in the greenhouse. Um, I'm thinking if any flax is ready, we should plant flax in the greenhouse. That's eight out of nine. See, things are already going a little slow, I feel like. That's eight out of nine. None of this is ready. I don't want to pick it yet. I can't pick it yet. Okay. Well, let's go get the scythe and let's do some bees. Because we have some clay on us. I should probably take... Let's take this down there. And put it up on the tree. Let's 
put it right here. I think that's a great idea. That way it's right here all the time. There we go. And then these cattails are ready. So this is why this is so nice to have this right here. Because we can just get all of these. Oh, some of them aren't ready. I think I still have some in the container. Oh, I hope that doesn't get the flax. Nope, good. That would be horrible if I picked my flax early. I've done that before. Not paying attention. Okay. Let's get some of these. I don't know how much we have, but we're going to get as much as we can. Let's get the let's get the knife out for this these ones so I don't accidentally do anything in the garden I shouldn't. Why? There we go. Probably have nope, don't have any more cattails in here. Well maybe we should just wait until we can get more cattails. Yeah, because that is not enough. Let's go ahead and leave this fire clay down here and we're going to put this and this back we may we might need another garden box down here um that's very possible so let's put those in there let's plant let's go ahead and plant something in there those are cold resistant to negative five. Oh, why don't i have that parsnip planted that's cold resist till negative 10 so we definitely don't need to put that in there negative five. I think we should just wait until this garden is done. But let's go check on the animals. Oh, I meant to tell you guys. You guys probably saw it. We have a pig in here. I was so excited about a third cow thinking it was, I miss stuff guys. There's a pig. We have a pig. And it's a sow. It's a little girl. So if we can like lure some men in here, then we'd be doing good. How are you guys? No babies yet. Okay. Oh, uh, looks like a couple of my torches have gone out. Let's relight them. Okay, guys. So we did our cooking. So what I'm going to do overnight is make sure that stuff is organized. I'm going to gather up um, the temporal gears, the metal parts, some food because we may be spending, I mean, if it's a nice spot, why are these going out, not those? Did it rain here and not over there? That flax is ready. I'm just really hoping it will take us to a place that maybe is a little bit warmer and that maybe we could get some more seeds. Um, one other thing I wanted to show you and I'm excited to do, so I'm gonna do it right now is we're going to go take this. Oh, I forgot to put the scythe back down there. We're going to go back down there, though. Um, I want to show you these little paths. I know if you play Vintage Story, you know about them. But I put the aged wood somewhere. Where did I put the aged wood? Probably in the wood. Yeah. So if you take this aged wood and you use a saw on it, you can make boards. I'm not going to use all of it because I want to um, so with the boards, you can make, uh, where is it? Where's my pretty path? Let's look this up. Wooden path right there. It only takes aged boards. So you can do this. We made 16. I just think they're so cool looking and we're going to put we're going to put this away and um, we're going to put the rest of the wood away that wood is precious you don't get very much of it and when you have it you want to make sure that i'm using it um 
for very specific things and to decorate and stuff because it is really pretty stuff. But let's take Bright Molly because we're going to need to um, light this up a tiny bit. But we can lay these down in our... I want to put another um, gate at the end. Let's take out this. There's a butterfly. But for now, we can kind of put fence in here. This path in here that I think looks really sweet. And now we know where we can put some more flowers. And I think I'll take this out and end up putting another gate right there. So we have, um, you know, another entrance. But look, our, all most of our bees are harvestable again. So before we make um, I don't before we make the jam. We'll be able to harvest those. Did I start these? No. I'm distracted today. <sighs> okay, so. It's only 740 and look how dark it is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to organize my stuff. Get my box. And maybe by the time um, we... Uh, get back from the TL, those will be done and we'll be able to make some jam. But we're going to go fix a TL tomorrow. Actually, in just a, f in just a few minutes because I'm going to get my stuff organized and go. So you won't know until tomorrow, but I am going to do it right now. So <laughs> I will see you guys tomorrow. Vintage story tomorrow. And we're going to go do that TL. Thanks for joining me, guys. See you later.